In this video, we are going to implement the script to reset our description as well as we are going to implement some test data that allows us to select an item and show the description as well as to select the item that it was filled in with data and show the border of it. Okay, let's get started. In the previous video, we have added the script to clear the items in our inventory and also they will now respond to our different uh, events. Uh, currently, of course, nothing happens because we haven't coded the logic what happens when we click on the item. Uh, we have disabled the debug.log statement. So right now, let's quickly uh, create the logic behind resetting and setting the description of the item. Uh, and we are going to st start working on the implementation of what happens when we drag the item and so on. So let's select our scripts folder UI and let's create a new C sharp script. Let's call it UI I inventory description. And let's open it up in Visual Studio. Okay. So here in this script, I'm going to simply delete the start and update methods and I'm going to paste fields and methods that we are going to use. So our inventory description is simply the image, the text, so the title, and the description, so again, another text. So to use this tmp underscore text, we need to right click on it, quick action, and say using tm pro, or you can type it first and then type those. And of course we need to have image, so image class is inside quick action, using unity engine.ui, again this library will need to be at the top in the using statements. Okay, with those three serialized private fields, item image, private tmp underscore text title and private tmp text description, we can implement some methods that will direct how, the, uh, how we fill in those fields. So in the awake, we are going to have public void awake and we are going to have reset description. Right click on it, quick actions and generate this method. And we may want to have it as a public instead of private method. Now inside our public void reset description, we are going to set this item image game object set active to false. We're going to reset this title text to be empty string and this description dot text equals uh, empty string. And of course we need to be able to set this description. So public void set description. Again, we only want to take the basic uh, components like sprite sprite. So this will be our image, string item name and string item description. And again, we do not care what is inside this description. What we care is that we get the string and we want to display it in the proper field. So this item image game object set active to be true. So we show our white background and we set this white background to be instead this item image sprite equals the sprite that we pass here. We're going to set this uh, title.text to be item name and this dot description dot text equals item description. And that is it for our UI inventory description class. Okay, so if you have both of those methods as well as the fields defined, let's save the script and let's go back to Unity. Great. Now we are going to select our inventory and we need to go to the prefab because we want to apply to our inventory description uh, onto this uh, game object. So this is inside our inventory. We have the item content and item description. Let's drag on the item description, our UI inventory description uh, script. And here we are going to assign our image as the image. So if we disable it, we are going to be left with the same background as we use for our content of the uh, inventory. And we are going to assign to our inventory description the title text and the description text. Now obviously the title can be too long and can go outside of the bounds as well as this description we have already talked about those but those are details that you might want to tweak depending on your needs. So let's go back and right now one last thing that we need to do is of course edit our UI inventory page to include the description and to be able to tweak it. So let's open our UI inventory page script. Okay. At the top, we are going to add another serialized private UI inventory description. Now we have typed it like this. Private UI inventory description item description. Okay. Now we can create an awake function. 
So private void awake, we are going to hide our menu, our inventory page. This is just for the, if we leave the uh, menu open in the inspector, it will be automatically hidden. But we also want to call item description dot reset. Okay. And what we may also want to do is when we show our insp uh, inventory, we may want to also call inventory description dot reset just to be sure that when we close the inventory when something was selected and the item description was filled in when we reopen our menu we are going to reset the selected uh, item as well as the description so we can start a new and select a new item or select the same one now as for the set description we are going to only be able to use this when we have some data to fill in our inventory so let's just save and test if our logic works okay so let's go back to our inventory prefab let's assign the inventory description or we can find it in the awake uh, sorry about this okay here it is so now if we press play we should be able to now press i and as you can see that description is already reset so just to quickly test it all let's go back to our ui inventory page okay and at the top let's create some temporary variables so public image image and again we need to import the ui uh, uh engine.ui library to be able to use image we're going to add public int quantity so this will be our image will be our item quantity will be the quantity public string this will be title and we are going to have description okay if we slide down to find our show uh, method we are going to call our list so we have this list of ui items and we are going to select zero because we know that we have this since our inventory size is set to be I think five uh, I think in the inventory controller so we are going to set the set data and we can pass here our image and we can pass here the quantity okay and uh, image dot uh, we do not want the image here sorry about this we want to have sprite Okay, so we basically do not need this UI, uh, unitng.ui. Okay, and now what we can do is when we uh, select our image, so we have our handle item selection, we can check actually only for the first uh, item, this will be possible because if we have set the data, this will not be empty. So this will be called. So what we can do is we can call item description dot set description and we can pass here our image we can pass here the title and we can pass here the quantity okay and now we are uh, not the quantity but the description okay now we will will be able to test our logic so let's save this let's go back to unity okay in the inventory we are going to set the sprite i think in the graphics in the generic RPG, we should have RPG pack and we should have some sort of props uh, and decorations, I think. And we should have generic loot, for example, this loot 01. Let's assign this. Let's set quantity to one, title sword, and uh, description cuts things. Okay, and let's try pressing play and let's see what happens. We're going to see that now if we press I, we're going to see the sword, the quantity of this item. If we select it, we can see that this cuts things and this is a sword. One thing that I forgot to do was inside our UI inventory page script, we should also uh, select this item. So what we should do is inside this, we should call our list since right now we do not have the code for it yet. We are going to select the list uh, element zero select. Okay, we are, later we are going to upgrade it, but let's now save it. Let's go back to Unity. Okay, and again, if we press play, we can now select this item and we can see the description of this item here. And of course, when we are going to have other images, we are going to implement this logic where we deselect all the items and select the only one that we have clicked on. Okay, in the next video, we are going to implement this drag logic for our items. If you are enjoying this series, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, I would really appreciate this. Okay, see you in the next video.